Hey everybody, Tio from Art Geek Teaching. Today we're going to look at how to mount canvas to a cradle panel using Miracle Muck coming up. Okay, we're moving on with this dude. We're going to adhere it to my panel uh, using Miracle Muck. And so, Miracle Muck, my favorite, my go to. You could also use um, Gidget. My dog's going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, you could also use matte medium, um, you know, PVA glue. There's, there's a number of things that you could use for this. This, uh, you can use, in terms of what I'm adhering to it, you can use one of your own watercolor images, one of your own digital images, um, scan of one of your original oil paintings or acrylic paintings. This particular painting is not mine. I did not do this. This is AI. Uh, I collaborated with AI, yes, but this is not one of my paintings. This is an AI painting. So, I just printed it. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you've seen, we already marked the back. And so I'm just going to flip it down first. And then we're going to put, uh, we're going to put Miracle Muck on not only that, but on this. We're going to do it on both, both pieces. Oh. Okay, you know what, before we move on, I'm just going to grab a pencil. And I'm going to go ahead and mark out the entire um, piece of this. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get an idea of where my corners and stuff are. Again, this is obviously not perfect at all. Test that out, make sure we're good to go. Yeah, so we just need to be, you know, inside those little lines. And I think this one is the most important one because it's the most narrow. Okay. So, finally got this dude opened up. Pour a little Miracle Muck on. You know, we already have the other side. Um, we already have the other side sealed. We did that. You could use scotch for this also. Scotch, you know, the 3M product. I haven't done a demo on that. I should do that. Um, it's a decent product. You have to be really careful what you use it on, I think. Um, and this is probably not the best way to do things if you are going to use encaustic. This piece is going to have resin after we make it our own, um, which will work fine, but encaustic probably not, because this is, says on the bottle, heat. I think it says heat activated. Heat activatable. So, heat activatable means I probably don't want to put it on my substrate that I'm going to be using with heat. All right. I'm just giving this a really thorough, I want to get it into the weave of my canvas. I'm hard on brushes, man. Make sure your corners are good. That's the place that it usually comes up, it's corners and edges. going to come up. That's where it is. Get those edges really, really good. Now, I could have sealed this beforehand, and it would have certainly taken, taken less glue, but I did not. And to seal it, there's a number of things, again, that you can use. I My go-to is gesso, but not necessary 100% of the time. 
glue is more expensive than gesso, so it might use just a slight bit less of glue, but probably not enough to make a huge difference. Edges, edges, edges. Looks like I need a little more. Just a dab. Okay, let's see where it is on the other side. This is the most important edge. So I think it's the narrowest. So I think we are good. I think we're good all the way around. So what I'm going to do here, get my hard brayer, go from the inside out. You also could use your credit card, debit card, room key. You also could use something like this. You could use a wine bottle. Okay, there's a ton of different things you can use. You can feel in there if there's any weird high spots or anything. Feels pretty darn good. Once you get it to where you are reasonably happy with it, then we're just going to set it aside. And this will be fun. I'm just going to play with this. Um, basically, it's, it's going to be an embellished print, right? So I'm going to play with it with some acrylics, probably with some chalk paint. Chalk paint I would use if I was going to focus on encaustics. And um, if you're wondering, there's a, there's a command in mid-journey, which is AI, and I can scan my paintings in there, and I can train mid-journey how to emulate my paintings, my style. And so it's really cool. I think it's kind of neat as collaboration, but it's called the SREF command, and um, you can put your work in and ask it to create something with, you know, that as a prompt, and it will emulate your work. Some people don't like that. I like that way better than trying to use somebody else's work. All right, so it may not be perfect, but it feels pretty smooth in there, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this upside down, let it set, usually I'd let it set 24 hours, I don't really have 24 hours, well I guess I could, we'll see. I'll either work on this tonight or tomorrow morning. Okay, we're just going to put some weight on top of this and let it set for 12 to 24 hours. And that is it. And I will come back, I'll take the weights off and we'll take a peek. All right, I think I, this is on here. We're gonna disassemble this thing. 
and see what we have. Oh. Okay. That's glue coming through. He's good. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna let him rest till tomorrow morning and we'll trim it up and paint away. So there we have it.